so so if we base it on history what are the other reasons why it's ironic for great britain to have an a prime minister of uh, indian ethnicity any other reasons based in history mm. Uh, um, you know, because their relationships. What about their relationship? What is the relationship between India and Great Britain in history? India used to be, used to be what? Uh, uh, Indian British. India used to be a colony of Great Britain. Do you remember that? Uh. It used to be a colony, right? Meaning, uh, you know, a few hundred years ago, Great Britain was in control of India. Like in the same way that uh, the Philippines, for example, was a colony of the United States of America a few hundred years ago, or maybe just a, about a hundred years ago. So fast forward to the present, now Great Britain has a prime minister who is of Indian descent. So do you see the irony there? So a person who came from a colonized country is now the prime minister of the country that used to be their colonizer. Okay, so I hope you get it. Remember, oh. remember Australia. So what, what is the historical relationship between Australia and Great Britain? Um, um, Australia also of the. So Australia is one of the Commonwealth countries, right? Yeah. So they are related uh, to the United Kingdom in so many ways. History. Okay, so let, let's talk about Rishi Sunak. All right, so he's, he's the new Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Who did he replace? Which person did he replace? I think we oh. talked about her last time. Uh, she replaced um, Liz Truss. Okay, he replaced former Prime Minister Liz Truss. Wait, isn't, isn't she the Prime Minister who only worked for like a few weeks? Yeah. How many days precisely did she did she act as prime minister? Um, Remember, it was right about just forty four days. Oh, right. So it was yeah. just uh, you know, it wasn't even two months. Okay. So. Yeah. The previous prime minister who was, you know, who uh, occupied this position in a much more stable uh, manner, that was Boris Johnson. So after he left the parliament, uh, this position has not, not been properly occupied by anyone yet. So Liz Truss already resigned, and you now this new guy. We have this new co new person in the United Kingdom. His name is Rishi Sunak. Okay, he is the first person of color to lead United Kingdom. All right. So, what political party does he come from? What political party is he from? Um. It's 
from the Britain's Conservative Party. Very good. He's from the Conservative Party. Okay. So as we can see in Western politics, usually we have these two, uh, two opposing groups. One is right wing or conservative. The other is left wing or liberal. So it's the same thing in the United States. So right wing conservative, that would be the Republican Party. Left wing progressive, as they say, or left wing liberal. You would call that the what, what? What political party is that in the United States? You know? No. It's the Democratic Party, okay? So in the USA, you have the Republicans and the Democrats. So it's the same thing in the United Kingdom. You have the Conservative Party and Liberals as well. Okay? So uh, Liz Truss replaced Boris Johnson, all right, and now Liz Truss herself will be replaced by this person, Rishi Sunak, okay? So what happened, what happened to Liz Truss? Why did she step down? What, what was the problem? Um. The answer is on this page. Um, so um, she suddenly became uh, unpopular. <laughs> That's right. And all her ideas were creating um, a lot of problems mm -hmm. to the UK, and yeah, many things she was talking about was something that Rishi Sunak was against the ball. Okay, so apparently when she stepped in, when Liz Truss stepped in, she got the United Kingdom into a lot of troubles, and this is also the reason why the value of the pound plummeted, 